Has Sue Ellen's reach for the bottle gone too far? Has Dusty's anger got the better of him? Or will Cliff Barnes finally settle the score? The wait is over tonight as we find out who shot JR at 9pm. But first, it's your friendly Thames men. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Ta-da! Generation game. How are we doing? Good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles, and I'm Alexander. I'm in San Francisco, and we're here for Split Ends. And they took ten years to make it. And I was thinking in between the video, they took so long to make it because they named themselves after a hairdresser. <laughs> it is. It's like Wallingford High Street. Split Ends. I'm just going there for a well, short back and sides. Why? I don't know why, right? You get companies and they just name themselves normal, right? And they do this yeah. and they do that. Fucking hairdressers. Pun. Have to, they like a, have, a, to have a pun. Yeah. I mean, like fringe fringe benefits are cut above the rest. Um, <laughs> split ends, <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, oh, jolly haircut, you know? I mean, you can't be a hairdresser unless you've got a stupid name, you know? <laughs> Snippets. Well, actually, the barber I went to when I used to get my haircut, that was called David R., which was fairly... You know, actually, it was great. David R's just up the street from where I live, and it's like a Latino barber shop. You should be David R. You cut me in. <laughs> R. And, <laughs> and uh, David R. And uh, he uh, is Latino. It's like a local neighborhood barber shop, you know, which is great because it was like $12 to get your hair cut, as you can tell. And yeah. uh, not that I go there anymore. Um, and uh, But I'd go in there and no one spoke English. And I don't speak Spanish, uh, but it was bloody good value. If you could kind of like, signal what you wanted you know <laughs> did, you have to, did you have to take magazine pictures in, <laughs> yeah, well, they had all these old Eddie. black and white pictures on the wall of like 1970s like footballers go oh, that one there that'd be great yeah and i can see that you followed it <laughs> i have I've got, I've got the mullet <laughs> going, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly but what i don't know what it is about hairdressers that they've got to do that hairdressers and i think it's that and maybe florists are the only industries in the world that you've got to have a stupid name to be taken oh, success. I don't know. We could probably. Th- I think there's. I think there's some other ones around. Probably like. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We, I'm sure. No. Anyway, <laughs> so split ends. Well, and Neil, uh, Neil Finn more to the point this week. This is created with Neil Finn, and it's starting off with split ends, isn't it? So. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, he started off as a hairdresser <laughs> and uh, ran a shop for ten years, and then had a hit, and then and had a hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but now. We are doing a track called One Step Ahead. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, well, that'd be a surprise, wouldn't it? Uh, but, yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> so we've got that, and we've also got a b- 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 bonus coming up as well. So stick around. Don't, don't. All right. Yeah, who knows? Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at this one. This is 1980. So Neil, Neil Finn was apparently surprised by the success of of this song as it hasn't got a proper chorus its unique and complex song is cleverly disguised as pop oh for hasn't it mm. okay all right so so 1980 still in the height of new wave let's see what we're gonna get shall we let's do it are you ready sir three two one go Oh, 
Freaking brilliant. I really like that. And I've never heard that one. You know, the first one we'd heard, I'd heard maybe somewhere, but that I've never, I've never heard. I never, that was weirdly hypnotic. Oh, it was, wasn't it? It was like like the fact that he said no chorus, but the bass line on it was just carried you through the whole thing. It was like. You concentrated on the bass of two elements I absolutely adored. Now, what, well, three actually? Well, first of all, yeah, obviously his singing is great. Yeah. Take that the delivery of this. The other two elements, um, I love the synths. Yeah, yeah. They were and and they were all in the back, floating around and really bizarre, absolutely brilliant. And the other one, straight down the line, clean as a whistle, the drums. Yeah, they just were just so straight. Yeah, so straight. They no, nothing, just straight. And then everything else was all around. You know, it was I, that was great. I mean that that track. I would love to hear. If that anyone, you know, how the, all the rage is doing spatial audio at the moment, and 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 sort of remixing things into Atmos and stuff, so you get this. I reckon that track would trans- yeah. some tracks translate well to that space, others do yeah. not. I reckon that yeah. one, like you said, you could have something straight down the middle and fill the space around with just. The, you know, I agree like, with that. You. Would be amazing. I agree with you. You know, uh, those paddy those paddy scents were just absolutely, just absolutely magnificent. Uh, I'm going to dig that one out. That's an instant on my playlist. It, it really that is, isn't one, it? Really hooky. Yeah. I totally add that to my playlist, I think. And it, Also, I wonder if they did a 12-inch version of it ooh, as well. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? That would be interesting. Now, now the, the you know, we would say one step beyond, you know, like it, it had a hint of madness to it. You think so? I Maybe I was just that. thinking about that. Maybe it's because they're all wearing black. Maybe it's because they were sort yeah. of dancing around in step, you know. But there was just a sort of, there was a moment where I thought, Maybe just because I had it in the back of my head, you know. And he said he didn't have a chorus. He's right, didn't have a chorus. But he had a repetitive hook. One step ahead, yeah. do, do, yeah, do. Yeah. And, and, and it kind of supplemented for the chorus. Yeah. Because he, the hook came in so often that you were waiting for that hook to come in and then he would just, yeah. So, I, yeah, fantastic song, fantastic. That was really nice surprise, that one. Good choice, Chris. Fantastic. Well, they, they, there's a bonus. But, 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 um, bonus? Bonus, bonus. So we're going to see Neil Finn one step ahead again. And this performance of one step ahead is from the concert Finn performed in Auckland Town Hall in 15, 215 that is, <laughs> with a string ensemble. Now it is deconstructed version of the song that leans into its usual harmony. Unusual, unusual if, harmony. Unusual harmony. Yeah. I wonder if that was before so this was the earthquake. Or uh, yeah, right. when, that, when things collapsed. Yeah, well, that went, that was. Yeah, I don't know when that was, but yeah, no. Did the church collapse or something? That was the, the, the cathedral. In, yeah, uh, that was right. in Christchurch, though, wasn't it? it was, wasn't that with the centre of it? Anyway, yes, not yeah. good. No. So a deconstructed version of this. Live with strings from Auckland in 2015. All right, let's do it. Let's try it out. I cut before it starts. Can you? Can, what are the, what's the orchestra going to do? 
Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. I have no idea. Would it be playing the hook and then uh, and then kind of thirds and whatever, or is it going to try and do the synth part? I don't think so. I think it's just going to be doing kind of, you know, the whole... Well, we'll just find let's out. Let's find out. All right. Three, two, one, boom. <laughs>
step ahead, only one step ahead. Now she's one step ahead of you. Wow. Wow. That was great. Different. Really different. That actually set up the whole week for me, so now I realise we we really are watching an absolute masterclass of a songwriter who's got an amazing voice, great guitarist. He's, you know, he's up there. Real delivery, real class, like act. That like, yeah, his voice. You know, and that's how many years after we the first one's nineteen eighty. Such a good voice. Twenty 30, was that thirty five years after that first single still sings amazing tone to his voice he's got like a in his inflection i loved it uh, some way having it deconstructed he he was then separated from the band then yeah and so it was just him and this is a neil finn week and and that by having it deconstructed and got it down to its raw elements it's like oh fuck it's good <laughs> I, I you know you like you said in the, the the first one where you had the drum kit just straight down the middle he had just a snare drum just that hit mm. was just the sort of anchoring the middle of it again you know and then around it was i love the, the when the the violin soloist came in was great. it was so haunting and just like uh, and with the and then with the plucked strings on the other end you know it was i thought that was great it was all great it was absolutely fantastic absolutely brilliant I'm 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 liking this guy more and more and more. I'm I'm looking forward to tomorrow. That was an app uh, from as I said, having having the band first and then having it deconstructed. To, so just being him just really magnified how good he is. I you know I mean I've, I've heard of Neil Finn. I've heard of Split Ends. Uh, you know and all those things. But never I don't know why. You just sometimes you just don't go off and listen to these things like you should. You get off on another track somewhere. And so to come to this and find there's like a whole you know another world is fantastic i know and if anyone is watching this on their tv or their phone and they don't have headphones in and you like that track yeah. go back and listen to it with headphones Makes because sense. it's just so well recorded yeah you you are there in the cathedral with it yeah it sounded you know. fantastic i mean so far all three tracks we've listened to They've all sounded amazing. They've just like you know yeah. maybe you know Chris has picked out great versions, but they they really sound like like and again the sort of the bass lines on things for me really come through. So good. Right. Well, what to join us tomorrow? How can they top that tomorrow. though? Come on, you know. Maybe that was a high water. Maybe we'll it was. See. We'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. What would you like to hear, uh, uh, Neil Finn fans? What do you think is coming next? Uh, Any guesses? We'll join us tomorrow. You'll see. Yeah. So, as will we. Yeah. <laughs> so, excellent. See you tomorrow. It's on the flip side. Bye. Bye.